Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome everybody. My name's Aram and today I would like to talk about a pretty typical late starters masters rowing technique problem. It usually has a lot to do with stability and the fear of falling into the water. And don't think it's so uncommon. This is Stephen Plank. Everybody calls him Planky, he says. And that's his video. The footage is a bit shaky because he's done actually something quite smart. You see this? Right there, there's a little bar. And on that bar, probably mounted a GoPro. And although this is shaky, it's a perfect view. I can, I can see his other blade. I can see his body from the side. Couldn't be any better. Planky, you ask for some feedback. And the problem, of course, everybody spotted it, is here at the catch. Watch the blade. Jup. It's basically an air catch, so blade is squared early, way too high off the water, starts the stroke with the blade still being in the air, and hits the water about halfway through. How to solve this? And first of all, why is this actually happening? Why? If we don't know why this is happening, how are we supposed to solve the problem? If we want to understand why something is happening, I usually look at the body. I try to find out how does the body behave and why does it behave the way it does. And if we look at Planky on the way to the catch, because this is usually where everything starts. Now this, let's rewind this a bit. Let's go forward. All right. So first thing we see, uh, Planky, your foot stretchers seem to be pretty low in the boat. I don't know if you can spot this, but foot stretches here are pretty deep, pretty deep. and it is well possible that you set up your boat exactly you set up your uh, linear drive arc where the foot stretchers are usually always too low usually and always don't really go but you know what i mean and I, it's just my uneducated guess here the second problem is you are not in control of the boat on a way forward definitely not no no you're not the problem is that on a way to the catch right now you're basically fighting your way forward and but this I mean the following thing. If you want to do the recovery right, and this is what, what, what an Austrian coach once showed me. Um, I never forgot this, I was a teenager still, and he was then Austrian national coach. And he did one thing with me, which made it all clear. He showed it to me and he actually made me feel it. It's just group exercise. And um, we all had to sit on the chair, on the front edge of a chair. And somebody else had to grab our hands and we had to sit still and heavy. And he said, okay, let somebody else pull you on your hands. So he pulled me on the hands, pulled me on the hands forward. And he asked me, how does it feel in your shoulders and triceps? I said, relax. Do you feel a tension? He said, a good one. It's like a pull, exactly. And he said, that's the pull you need later on. So, oh, good point. And then he said, watch what the, sh what the hip does. Oh, it moves in the right way. Do you feel relaxed? Yes. And that's the problem, Planky. You, when you go forward, it should feel like somebody pulled you forward instead of you working your way forward and the knees bend early and oh God, this is not stable. Recovery becomes almost as exhausting as the drive then. And don't think you are an exception. This is what many, many athletes do, late starters and not late starters. It's a common problem. And you can see this, how the muscles are activated. And this is actually an activation of, blah, you, you see? Muscles here, pretty defined actually. It's a push, it's a push forward into the boat. And if you watch um, the video analysis of um, Tim Roth, which I just recorded before, so I, I think I'm gonna publish it before. Tim actually has the same problem. It's a lack of relaxation on the way forward. And the other thing is, as you're not in control of your body and of your boat, you just try to work your way so forward somehow, you also bring your seat pretty far forward and that's just a symptom the problem is a lack of tension in the lower spine that really is the deal here i think you're simply not contracting your lower abdominal muscles because if you did you would actually try to sit tall from the lower torso and this is not happening you're just trying to bring your upper torso forward and of course you're going to be bending the lower back this is exactly what planky does right here and therefore the seat just does his own thing and slides forward and then whatever he does. The first way to correct this is to do a lot of exercises at the catch where you try to position yourself correctly. First thing, uh, bring the seat back until you can have a very stable lower spine connection. Second thing, loose elbows. On the way from a three-quarter slide to full slide, 
you want to extend your arms completely, not before. Uh, look at look at the video of Alex. It's called "Good" in brackets indoor rowing technique. And this is this is where Alex does it perfectly. It's it's very uh, well explained, I think. And the reason why I want to have loose arms is so you can have all all of your weight on the seat and therefore the tension um, travels down south in the boat and it's, it's just more stable. The next thing, if you have control over your body and you just loose elbows, go to the catch position exactly where it's the most uncomfortable. Bring your seat a bit back, try to sit low, tall in the lower back, um, relax your arms and put the blade in the water and let it just swim. There's no rental for it, so it's, it's going to be difficult, but let it just, let's just let it swim. You will see that the blade, if you don't disturb it, will swim the perfectly right height. It's just, gonna, it's just gonna float. And then I want your body to relax. And when you start to pull, I wanna make, you wanna make sure that you don't disturb the height of the handles and the blade anymore. Use your body in a way where you have full control over the blade horizontally, but you don't interrupt its vertical stability. Because vertical stability of the blade, and this is why the Randall Foys are so effective, is that you don't, um, there's no loss of connection between blade and water. It's that simple. And a lot of you masters are afraid that the catch, uh, there is no stability. Of course, the natural blade design is not meant to give you stability at the catch, although it should. So put some Randall Foys on top. And if anybody comments now, he keeps on talking about Randall Foys, yeah, for a reason, because these things are good. If you don't like them, don't use them. But don't blame me for talking about good things. Here at the catch planky, there's another exercise you can do. Uncomfortable catch position. We call it the dip, 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 dip. So you go to the catch and what you do is you just bend your arms, be very loose, and then you wanna do this. You wanna just get the blade just out of the water, back in, just out of the water, back in. And the important thing is that you don't do it this way, because this is not gonna help, you know, just slightly with your forearms. And don't do it with the entire upper body, which is what you usually do at the catch, and many other athletes too, only forearm. And you can start to do this in a quarter slide, half slide, three quarter slide. You just spend five minutes doing this. It will give you a lot of stability. And eventually you can start to do, hold the blade in the air, ooh, back in the water. And again, only let the blade swim. Don't, don't kill fish, don't go too deep. Planky, that's your main task right now. There's a, a lot of other things we could talk about, but this is where you should start, absolutely. Now, once you master the catch, the rest will be easier to handle. Because right now, it doesn't make any sense to talk about other things. You gotta get the catch right, and you gotta get that stability issue corrected. All right, I wish you all the best. I hope this was helpful for everybody. And if you wanna send me your footage and your videos, please go to rmtraining.com. There's a dedicated section called Video Analysis, and this is where I explain how to send me stuff for free video analysis. All right, guys, have a very good day. Looking forward to see you all soon. Bye-bye.